What you send, ladies and gents, yes, it is your boy, Bucket Hat Sam, and we are back again today for another video. Today's video, though, is slightly different. We're going to be talking about Newcastle United and everything that's going on with them at the moment because it's a roller coaster with them at the moment. Um, everything off the field is looking quite positive with signings and things, but on the field, it's not looking positive, and especially when you look at the table. But there's so much to discuss with them, so much going on with them as a club. I'm, I'm quite interested to see how it all unfolds because if you look at them in the table, they're currently sat. 19th in the league, 19th in the league. It's January. Well, it's nearly the end of January. This is going to be a huge escape if they can get out of this situation. Not only that, Norwich are above them, which is mental to think. Norwich have climbed above them. Yes, Norwich have played one extra game than them. And Burnley are below them, but Burnley have three games in hand and they're only one point off. And it's mental to think that Newcastle have only got one win all season. Since August, they've only won one game of football, which is just crazy to think. Look, I couldn't imagine, or I could imagine, obviously being a West Brom fan, I've seen some pretty poor results for West Brom in recent years, but that's just on another level. Do I realistically think Newcastle can stay up? They're making signings which are looking positive, like Kieran Trippier. I think Kieran Trippier is an absolutely class player. You know what you're going to get from Kieran Trippier? He's a right back. He's got a great cross on him. He's he's very well, um, very well round player. He can do everything you want from a right back. Defensively sound, attacking great. Not only that, he's great for the dressing room. Obviously, he's got a lot of a lot of experience. He's been in and around a relegation scrap with Burnley. He's played in the Champions League with Tottenham, and then he's won the league with Athleti, Atletico Madrid. So, realistically, he's a perfect player for the dressing room. But what I don't get from Newcastle, and what only worry for them, it's a very scattered approach. It's very machine gun. It's like, you get what I'm trying to say, uh, approach for transfers. They've been linked with all different types of players. And I thought it was extremely odd when they first looked at the manager. Obviously, trying to get Unai Emery in, which I thought was an interesting appointment. And then going for Eddie Howe. The two of them aren't that similar. I don't get the two together. Realistically, I don't really see how they co in how they go it's not really down one road is it really two managers with completely different styles you would thought in this situation they'd have thought of a manager or thought of at least a playing style not only that they've signed Chris Wood for 25 million I've spoken about him before I think it's a very interesting sign I think they've extremely overpaid but I also do think it was to to hinder Burnley and their chance of staying up because that is Burnley's biggest. That's 30% of Burnley's goals gone instantly. He's a striker who's scored over 10 goals consecutively now for four seasons, but he's only scored three this season, which I know a lot of people are saying, well, Burnley haven't scored many goals. I do worry. The form he is going to have to get in to help keep Newcastle up is ridiculous. And the fact they spent 25 million in is is mental. Like I can't even fathom the amount of money they've spent on a striker who realistically could take them down, but he'd be perfect for the championship. One thing that really confuses me, I don't know if you guys agree, but they've signed Kieran Trippier, a guy who can whip the ball in, who's absolutely great at doing that crossing-wise, and Chris Wood, who loves to get the crosses and flick-ons and everything. But Eddie Howe doesn't like crossing the ball in from, from deep. It makes no sense. This is another thing. They sign players who are well-equipped in certain things but Eddie Howe refuses to play with that style, which is why I don't understand. Why would you sign a player who's suited to a system and then not utilise it? That's my only concern. And when you look at the, the Newcastle starting lineup, especially against Watford, you look at that back four, it is still so weak, even with Kieran Trippier in it. Kieran Trippier, Lascelles, Fabian Scher and Paul Dummett, they need a left back. They need a centre-back at least to play along Lascelles because Fabian Scher isn't good enough. Then you look at the midfield three, Joe Linton, Shelby and Longstaff. Really, so you need another centre mid there. And the front three, Fraser, Chris Wood and St. Maximin. It's, it's all right, but again, it's not that quality. This is my worry for them. that They needed, rather than getting in one signing like Kieran Trippier, they needed lots of signings, proven players. Kieran Trippier is perfect for that, but I think they need to sign a few players if they've got any chance of staying up. They're linked with Diego Carlos, around 50 million has been reported, but I think they'd be more suited to somebody like Tarkovsky. I know, obviously, they can't go, in for Burnley, go into Burnley again because, obviously, Burnley aren't going to sell. But you need a player who's proven in the Premier League, as somebody who's a know-how. That's what they need. They don't need flair players. They need points fast. And their form they need to get to stay up this season is like Champions League form. It, it's, it's a big ask, but if they're going to do it, they need to get in players. Who, it's the know-how. It's simple as that. Players who know exactly, who have been in this position, know exactly what to do to get out of it. And I don't think Diego Carlos, yes, in the long term would be a good signing, but he's not going to be great for you if they get relegated next season. That's my thinking. 
I don't think Eddie Howe's the right manager for the job. I said that from the start, but there's nothing really I can go on anymore about Eddie Howe and that managerial appointment. He got Bournemouth down. He made some awful signings on their way down when he was given money. And I mean, awful signings. You look at Solanke, you look at Jordan Ibe, you look at Lerma, Jefferson Lerma, not very good signings. He got Bournemouth relegated. And that's why I couldn't understand why they've gone for him as a manager. A manager who leaks goals for fun when this Newcastle side leaked goals anyway with a defensively with a defensive uh, centered manager in Steve Bruce so i didn't understand that appointment and i keep saying that i, I just couldn't get the logic of it but again it, this might be a big picture they might be planning to get relegated but i can't see how a club with that much money and that much ambition would want to get relegated because it's obviously not going to help the club but i think they need to sign a few players and fast obviously Jesse Lingard's a player that's been mentioned but i don't think that's where they what they need they've got Chris Wood now a good striker. They've got St. Maximin on the wing. They've got Fraser. They've got Almiron. I think going forward, I know this might sound mental, but I think they're fine. I think they just need more, more in the midfield because you look at John Joe Shelby, a good player. Sean Longstaff isn't good enough. Joe Linton, yeah, he has occasional great game, but he still isn't good enough, is he really, to play in that midfield three? If you want to stay up, you need the know-how. And I keep going back to it. It's the simple know-how. Or even getting some players on loan who are going to really just play for the they, you need players who are going to play for the shirt put everything into the game with that extra little bit of quality and there aren't many players like that but I know this is going to sound like a ridiculous shout but players like I know this that's kind of mental when I'm saying it but players like Mark Brighton, somebody who's who's at Leicester now the know-how of the Premier League you need experience and that extra bit of quality but obviously they need to go they can go a lot better than that. So I realised as soon as I said that, that's probably one of the most ridiculous shouts I've gone for. But Jesse Lingard could be a good signing, but also could be the kind of signing that would get the club relegated because he is a he's a he's very much a form player. Same as Deli Ali, the two names that keep getting mentioned. They're both form players and they're both currently out of form. So it's a lot to ask for them to come into a side, completely revolutionise themselves as players, get Champions League player kind of form to keep Newcastle up. It's not going to happen. So you need to create a strong unit, strong defensively. And then as long as they can keep the goals from going in, build on that, build a strong defensive foundation, in my opinion. And hopefully you guys agree. But you'll have to let me know any names you can think of in the comment section below of players that you really think Newcastle need. I think they need a new keeper. I think the Bravco is a great keeper, but they're desperate now to not concede. So why don't they go in for somebody like Henderson from Man United, get him on loan? He's unhappy. He's not getting game time with an option to purchase if they stay up. But you guys let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Overall, I currently don't think Newcastle will stay up with everything that's going on. I think they're planning for next season. But then who knows what they're planning because it's just so scattered, as I said before. But let me know, guys, in the comment section below what you think. Will Newcastle stay up? Who should they sign? What should they do? And just all that kind of jazz. But thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, please like, comment and subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you aren't new to the channel, still do the exact same. But yeah, look out Sam over and out. Thank you. Goodbye.